So I forgot to uh, make a longer video for the last video to, because uh, <clears throat> two weeks ago, uh, Mr. Hensley's Hobbies, Doug, uh, he's he said there was a bunch of his local Walmart got a bunch of models. And I explained it. my local Walmart was didn't start getting models till this past summer and then it was really iffy. It was like, oh, sometimes they were there and then next month they weren't or whatever. And, and so he said, I need hell you better get in there. As they're stocking up for the holidays. So I went in there. About a week and a half ago. I went in there. And all I could see in the toy section. Oh, I went in there because I had to buy some more gray spray paint for the birthday bomber gift build. Ran out of so I, while I was in there, I said, "Well, I better go." You know, Mister Hensley's Hobbies, Doug said I need to get in there and see. It. Well, I went in the toy section, and all they had was a Hot Wheel display in the aisle, and they had like only one row of that display had kits on it, and they were just uh, Hot Wheel kits. <clears throat> Even though I do want to get that GT, I've built those Opal GTs before. They're fun to, they're fun to make into hot rods. Anyway, um, so I was like, well, I don't want the Hot Wheel kits. Where's the good ones? So I went to the hardware section to look for the spray paint I wanted, and guess what it was next to the in the aisle next to the hardware paint and glue section was the regular round two model kit display and they must have just put it up because it was packed full but i only had enough money to get the spray paints so since i only had money to get the spray paint for the for that um i said well i have to come back when i got some money to buy a kit and my son sent me some money for Christmas. So, after putting fuel in my vehicle and then buying some groceries for the dog and the cats, and I don't do my grocery shopping at Wally World. No, I, a long time ago, I learned not to buy my food at Wally Land. So I, I shop at Idaho has a couple of uh, grocery chains that are employee owned. And that's where I go. Anyway, so I got that and then I was on my way home and then I said, hey, I still got some money. Maybe I should buy myself a present. <clears throat> so Went over to the Wally World in Chubbuck, and holy crap, <laughs> that model kit display, round two kit display in the hardware section <laughs> was like 70% wiped out. And they had actually pulled the Hot Wheel kits from the toy section display and put them in that, the display by the hardware to make it look fuller and i was like oh crap <laughs> so oh yeah i also had to buy my use the money my son sent me to buy some real coffee for the last three weeks i've been drinking with what i call bilge water bilge water beans god no matter how strong i try to make it it just ugh. Just doesn't do it. So I bought me some nice Italian dark roast. Italiano. Mm. 
Mmm, strong. Yep. It's not a new month yet. Oh, anyway. So then, I went through the display and I was like, okay, which one do I want to get? So, they had plenty of the Hot Wheel ones, even though I want the GT, Opal GT again. Yeah, they had plenty of them. They had a lot of the 68, 69 El Caminos. They had several of the 41 Fords still. They had some some Ford pickups. Yeah, I wasn't really interested in them. And they had the 51 Chevy. Kind of want that, but they had two of them. And then they had those curbside Craftsman uh, GTOs. And I've got a crap load of junkyard rebuilder gtos of that year gto and so i don't need no, no more of that and so i got i bought it i bought it they had one one left of this cool kit that i've been wanting and i got home and I was like, yeah, hey, I'm going to rip this thing open. And, you know, like I always. Oh, and, and here's something else. Uh, this was the first new model kit I bought since the guy that damn pandemic started. Uh, so, new first new kit since 2019 that I bought myself. And... Anyway, I was going to rip right into it when I got home. I couldn't wait. And then I thought, wait a minute. You're, you're, you're trying to do this stupid YouTube boo, boo, boob tube thing. And uh, don't they do these unboxing things? Well, all right. So not only is it the first kit I've bought myself since 2019, it's going to be my first bloob tube unboxing. Probably people... I already seen plenty, but yeah, so they only this was the last one, and it has a trailer. <laughs> See, it has a trailer. <laughs> oh, but look at that. I hope those stacks are cool enough. And ooh, trailer mirrors. Ooh, look at that weird trailer hitch. Extra seats. A boot. I don't need no boot. Yeah, that's not a boot. Anyway, I couldn't wear that thing. Wheels. Grills. I like barbecue. Anyway, so let me see here how to we'll do this. It's all Mr. Hensley's fault. I wouldn't have been at the Wally World if he hadn't have said anything about them model kits that were building up in there. Always there. Oh, oh, plastic wrap. Now, I'll gently put the lid. I like these these thicker, you know, boxes. You know, instead of the flimsy ones for a while there, they were using flimsy. <sighs> There's a little bit of chrome. Oh, look, a lug wrench. I got plenty of lug wrenches. Ooh, jack stands. Ooh, there's a trailer mirrors. Red light. Oh, look at that. There's some lights. I can make a police car out of it. Look at that. These. Is that what they're for? Oh, the hood scoop is clear. Cool. I like that. And there's the seats. Interior. In the modern, in the more modern style of doing the interiors for car kits and not the older style. And there's the dual exhaust. Ooh, the terrible log manifolds. There's the motor in there. Transmission with separate oil pan. And yes. Here it is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Molded on K-frame and torsion bar. Oh, oh, well, whatever. I always 
chop them up anyway, do something with them, other than stock. I can't, can't bring myself to do stock. I don't know why. There's some, these are some wimpy wide tires. Some stock looking tires with white walls. Good thing I got a drawer full of tires and wheels. Here's the trailer. Oh, there's a floor handle for a floor jack, fuel can, toolbox, uh, toolbox. Oh, there's the floor jack. Here's this old, really old style trailer hitch they used to bolt to the bottom of your car. I remember having that done to a couple of my vehicles. Only used them once. <laughs> Seats with molded on seat belts. Oh, nice looking dashboard in there. I'm not taking it out of the bag yet. This is going to make the video too long, but oh, two hoods and another hood scoop. More dual exhaust. At least this, well, this is all molded one. Anyway, it's better than what, better than the old ones where it was molded onto the chassis. Ah. Chrome headers. Ooh, here's the injector. Where's the, oh, these are the stacks. Oh, they're wimpy ones. Look at that. They're designed so that, I wanted them, I wanted long ones that'll stick through the roof, the hood. <laughs> I Feeling ripped off about these st injector stacks. Anyway, uh, well, these wheels are looking, uh, I guess they're the stocks. Mm. Good thing I got a drawer full of wheels and tires. Two different grills, stock and custom, chrome console, whatever the plate. It looks like it's a dang automatic. I don't like automatics. <laughs> look at that, it may, this means it looks like the, the stacks are taller. Did, did I get a, oh. No, but, okay, and he, yeah, they're little, but the drawing makes them look tall. Okay, oh, that's a strange looking collector there, it looks like a, a cone of silence, stupid cone of silence on my exhaust, I don't want none of that, that don't make you smart. Uh, traction bars. Yeah. Well, I guess if it's got the symmetrical spring set up, you're going to need traction bars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, no top. Just this thing they call a boot. Uh, a little roll bar, okay. There's the trailer stuff, and I guess I'll open up the decals since they like to package them so you can't see them. Oh no! What was that? Somebody's doing a 60s, 70s. Who's that guy? 60s rule or something like that? Doing a 60s. Look at that. Dang. What is that? Flower power. No, it's the bee that's doing it. See that? The bee is the one that's doing the power. The super bee. 
Darn it, it's creased. Mm, different color stripes. <sighs> I used to have a real 1970 Super B 383 automatic, which I wanted. I was had plans to change it over to a sport four speed. It was orange with the black, not these kind of blacks. It didn't have these kind of black stripes, but they were in the shape of the fender, rear fender, and anyway, it had a little bump, a bump for a hood scoop. It said 383 Magnum on it, or was it Magnum, I think? Yeah, or something. 383 something on there. Hmm. I rarely use well i do use the i do use the instrument gauge decals but i rarely use any of the other decals i, I might i'll probably use that license plate that one there anyway i tried to make it quick failed so that's it and it's all Mr. Hensley's fault.